There was a growing memorial in the East Bay tonight where dozens of people gathered in Alameda to pay tribute to a man who died in police custody. He was a kind and noble man, and he was of indispensable value to this family. Police say 26-year-old Mario Gonzalez suffered a medical emergency while he was being arrested in connection with a theft. But family members say they want more information about what happened. More than 100 people came together tonight to remember Gonzalez, who they described as a loving father and caretaker. Live coverage tonight from KTVU's Amber Lee. She's in Alameda at the corner where tonight's vigil took place. Amber. Julie, we're across the street from the South Shore Shopping Center. The man's family and supporters created this memorial just steps from where he encountered Alameda police. He was a loving father. He was a brother. He was a partner. He was a son. Family members and supporters held a vigil in memory of Mario Gonzalez of Oakland, near the site where he encountered Alameda police and died while in custody. A large crowd joining the family's call for accountability and answers. The Alameda Police Department needs to explain why a perfectly healthy man who was never charged with a crime was killed in their custody. On Monday morning around 1045, police say they responded to two reports of a man who appeared to be under the influence and a suspect in a possible theft. They say officers tried to detain the man and there was a physical altercation. Police say the man had what they describe as a medical emergency and that he later died at the hospital. A brown man in Alameda looks suspicious. Mario's dead. Supporters questioned if racism played a role in people calling the police when they saw Gonzalez. Family members say they don't trust the information police have released. No, no medical problems, 26-year-old man, healthy man. How the hell do you die? What? He's not an 80-year-old man with medical issues. Una, una noticia inexplicable porque... Gonzalez's mother spoke through a translator about him being the full-time caregiver to his autistic brother, who is now distraught over the loss. And Mario would take care of him. He would bathe him, shave him, fix his hair. He can't eat. He can't sleep. He keeps asking where Mario is. Gonzalez also leaves behind a four-year-old son, Mario Jr. Police are public servants. They have to be held to a higher standard. The family is planning to hire an attorney and they're calling for the officer's body camera videos to be released immediately. We're not arresting. I don't need arrest. You know, I'm, I'm ready to fight. I got people ready to fight. We're locked and loaded. We're coming at them. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office is investigating this case at the request of Alameda Police. A spokesman for the Sheriff's Department says the body cam videos could be released as early as next week after witness interviews are completed. Julie? Amber Lee reporting live tonight in Alameda. Amber, thank you.